Big news of the day on the cars, Ari Vartanen. No, he didn't win. In fact, he went just a little bit too quickly into a Ford after just 17 kilometers. Not a Ford Pro truck, a Ford Ford. Here he comes. Oh, dear. Well, too much of an approach. And suddenly you can hear it and look what's coming out of the exhaust. Oh, dear. Well, the crowd may have liked the drama. But Ari Vartanen and any chance of victory in this year's Dakar just went up with the smoke from his engine. He knew it was his own fault. Same thing happened on the road to Niamey a couple of years ago. You remember that? Well, the last thing a competitor wants is a camera around the place, but he did spare us a few words, which is good of him. Got water into engine, and that's it. Really, this is a catastrophe. Distressed. Finished 176 out of 177 cars today. Even finished behind the 2CV. Yep. Vartanen's challenge surely at an end. Same can't be said for Carlos Seitz. Volkswagen had a fabulous day yesterday. And Carlos Seitz, if anyone's going to upset Mitsubishi, possibly it might be in his hands. Who knows? As others as well don't forget. Souza, the privateer. De Villiers, part of the factory outfit as well. Well, today, Seitz just gunned it. Well, perhaps the WRC-type terrain suited him. No end. Look at the set he's got here for the exit on this corner. He wasn't messing about at all. Ran well at the start of 2006. Had his troubles. If he can avoid problems, Sainz will be in the frame. Carlos Sousa, well, he finished ninth today, but will start in Africa as the leader overall, leading Sainz by 45 seconds in the standings. So it's all smiles for Volkswagen. That's the way to do it. De Villiers skidding through beautifully. Finished sixth on the day, but he's third going into Africa. And a great water passage for him. Just one of the skills that surely he will display en route to Dakar. So all smiles amongst the Volkswagens. One, two and three, but Mitsubishi are climbing. They're on the way back. Luc Alfont finishing third on the day. The harder surface suiting the new Pajeros. Suffered a puncture yesterday. Today, no such problems whatsoever. They could have done with a snorkel, couldn't they? Well, Alphonse taking it nice and steady. Didn't need it. He had his worrying moments, though. Where is the crowd, says Alphonse? There's nobody here. We're on the wrong way. We've gone wrong here. Well, his co-driver Perrin, uh, I beg your pardon, his co-driver Picard, suddenly getting angry with him and says, we are on the correct route, everything is fine, just keep going. Well, Alphonse starting to fret here, the arguments went on, <laughs> you can see the worriment in their faces. Come on, keep focused, keep going, enough. Not disturbing the fish. Are you likely to catch anything in that puddle today? <laughs> they were trying. Well, Alphonse had a good day. Finished behind Roma. In third place on the day. And looked handy. Stephen Panahansel was looking just as good. Roma in second place. Panahansel fourth. He was really pushing on the day. Happy with the faster surface. And showing his metal. Also out there and stalking everybody, BMW. There, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Shisharit, part of that challenge. Stopped to help Kleinschmidt yesterday, you may remember. He's still in the frame, very, very much so. He's the lead BMW, sixth overall. Well, a tyre, had to stop and change a tyre. Got a... <laughs> I've only just realised the poetic nature of that. The water splash today. Just took a little bit of body work out, only cosmetic, no problems whatsoever. He's ninth going into Africa, and that's where he excels. When the soft stuff happens, he loves it. Jutta Kleinschmidt had a better time of things. And in fact, moved by Alataya, his Sentinel system, beaming up and beaming back down. The vital information that he was about to be overtaken. 